Alright, welcome. So if you're here, it's because you want to know how to do unit testing for your custom extensions. In case you haven't been following along the series and just happen to come across this, you can check the video description for links to uh, videos on how to install all the dependencies required to make custom extensions in uh, Azure DevOps, as well as how to create the actual extensions themselves or tasks inside Azure DevOps. So this is a follow up video to all of those, which is just how to do unit testing or testing in general uh, at a local level prior to actually, you know, publishing it maybe for, for your next release. And in case you're new to the channel, uh, as always, there will be um, important links as well as uh, other information inside the video description. Um, also, I'm also posting up uh, a few memes these days related to tech, so please do check them out. Hopefully you get a laugh or two. And, um, you know, last announcement is if you have some time, please follow me on Twitter and other social medias that I'm, I'm slowly starting to get um, traction on. So, you know, it would really help to support the channel in that sense. Okay, so what I have here in this folder part two is essentially just a repeat of the files or copy and paste rather from the part one. And we're going to add a few files as well as make some installations here and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's start by installing the dependencies. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that we're working inside the build and release task folder right here. Okay, so you can copy this. I'm gonna CD into that path. If I do DIR, you see that it's exactly the same path that we're looking at here. That being said, we can start the installation of the tools. The very first one is going to be npm install mocha save dev g. Next, we're going to do npm install sync request save dev. And finally, we're going to do npm install uh, types mocha save dev. All right, so now that we have mocha and all of its dependencies installed, let's go ahead and create the folder for tests as well as the actual uh, test files. So we're going to start by, let's clear this up. We're going to type in make DIR, MKDIR rather, test. We see a new test folder appear over here on the left. Let's go inside there. So next we're going to create a new file and it's going to be type null greater than the name of the file is going to be underscore suite.ts. We see an empty file here. Uh, just a reminder, you could have created it manually by doing like new text file or something like that too. Um, but yeah, we have our file created. All right, so now let's go ahead and edit this suite.ts file. Go edit. Let's close this one. So for this next part, you know, you can either go to the GitHub link inside the uh, video description. You can go to Microsoft documentation and copy and paste it straight from there. Um, or you can just pause the screen after I um copy it over but you know essentially this is uh for example this is what the github link is going to look like so you just copy it and paste it straight from here um, otherwise you can just pause the screen like right now great time to pause it copy it if you want so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two ts files um, one for success one for failure condition uh, so essentially to do that let's just go over here and do success type null greater than failure.ts. So we have these two files. All right, so let's start by editing the success.ts file. We'll go over here. Uh, again, same concept, video description will have the link. You can pause it right now, manually copy it as well if you like. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's go ahead and edit the failure.ts. Um, same concept, you can go to the video description, go to the GitHub, copy and paste from there, or just clone it, or you can just pause the screen right now and type it out. All right, so now that we have these two TypeScript files, uh, you see if we go back to the original suite.ts file, 
we have these two placeholder comments over here. So, uh, you know, a third time, you can go to video description, you can copy and paste the schema, or you can just pause the screen. But either way, what you want to do is you can copy the following this portion like this and for success and then for failure you can go over here and copy this portion over here right over this comment and let's just indent it once so again if you want to take a full look about how it should be edited this is exactly how it should look after you copy and paste those sections into those comments all right so that being said we're pretty much done with the, the simple edits for these parts let's do one thing inside the command prompt window let's go back and just to mimic that let's go back here we're going to compile those typescript files all you have to do to do that is type in tsc and if we were to go back inside the test folder you see that the, we have JavaScript files based on that. Okay, so the final part really is just running the tests themselves. So what we're going to do to do that is, you know, as we as you saw, we installed Mocha. So you do see that, you know, even though it's getting an error, we have that dependency installed. So now what we're going to do is just type in Mocha, test, and then the actual path to that file, sweet.js. And now we see that it's invoking it and we have two failures so we'll, we'll see what's wrong here so I, I looked into what might have been wrong it looks like i copied and pasted incorrectly so just in case uh you also did the same mistake as me let's go ahead and edit this file um, and obviously again you can just look at the github link where it's already corrected but in case you were just following along you can take a, a pause right here and make sure you have the same exact settings here. Otherwise, if you had made a mistake, just make sure to um, obviously save it and then type TSC to recompile the JavaScript files, and then you should be able to run it. So now, that being said, now that it's corrected it, if I were to write mocha test suite.js, you see that the uh, sample test case scenarios are being printed out. What we have here, human and both test case scenarios are passing okay so um, while we're complete we didn't really go over it long story short these success and failure uh, scenarios they're just checking if you take a closer look at it they're essentially um, passing over the variable for the uh, task JSON it's giving some value for it just like how we just tested in part one how you can manually test it by invoking it with PowerShell and passing some value it's the same concept in this case. So one thing is, if you actually want to see what happens if we had something bad, um, let's go ahead and change the name of the, the variable. But before we do that, let's just, in case you need a refresher, let's go ahead and take a look inside the test.json, right? So if you look at test.json, we explicitly created an input variable called sample string, and that's exactly what we're targeting here. So in this case, let us just type in sample strings so that it should break. Let us recompile the JavaScript files and then let us invoke once more. And if you do that, then obviously the one that was passing the original string from the, the success um, scenario is working, but um, the other condition that we just edited is actually failing. So there you go. So you can you have an idea of how you can, um, you know, make additional test cases from here on out. All right. So that pretty much sums it up for this part. Um, the next part is actually going to cover how you can create a custom task using PowerShell module. So in case you weren't aware, this whole time we've been using uh, Node.js and TypeScript. Um, you can do it via PowerShell and PowerShell module. Therefore, you can have a little bit more flexibility, in my opinion, because I'm more comfortable with PowerShell, so you can have more flexibility in the kind of things that you can do. Um, otherwise, you know, you can essentially do the same things either way. It's just a difference of uh, a program language or scripting language.
All right, so that being said, you know, if you have any questions or anything else that you want to bring up that you want me to cover as far as testing goes, please do leave a comment um, so that, you know, I can respond to you and, and try to help you out wherever you're stuck. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next part. And thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And really just, you know, uh, like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. All right, take care.